Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and welcome to the FIFA 15 Heroes and Villains episode number three. We're talking about Hero again today and that is Royce the Hero. He looks like an absolute god on this game. Um, I wanted to say that thank you for all the comments on the, the previous videos of this series. I now myself understand a little bit more about what it is you guys want to see and stuff like that. Uh, and basically, what makes a hero uh, is someone like Marco Royce. A high-rated, really desirable player that not only performs on the game, but also is a decent sort of role model to people in real life, performs in real life, and is generally just one of those awesome type of players. And the villains... It basically, they're the scum of the earth. They are the ones that should not be as good as they are on Ultimate Team due to like their rating or stuff like that, or the, the fact that they're relatively unknown in real life. So, that clears that up. Let's talk about Royce today. Oh, 86 rated card, a 91 pace, 86 dribbling, 86 shooting and 84 passing. Four star skills and weak foot. What an absolute god. This guy truly, truly is. Now, this is the sort of team that I played him in. I actually played him in a Bundesliga squad. And then this one, which is basically uh, a Serie A and Bundesliga sort of mix. It's not a hybrid. It's only two leagues. Uh, but a very, very strong team nonetheless. Now, before we move on to the in-game stats, I want you guys to drop a comment down below. Who should be the next hero? What other, un well, not unsung, but other beastly heroes should there be in this series? In-game stats-wise, 89 acceleration, 89 agility, 82 balance, 87 reactions, and 92 sprint speed on Marco Royce. He's got 83 ball control, 90 curve, 88 dribbling, 85 finishing, 87 free kick accuracy, 89 long shots, 85 short passing, and 85 shot power, as well as 87 volleys. This guy's an absolute monster in game wise he's a re he's got the stats to back up that rating he's got the four star skills and weak foot as i said and he's got loads of specialities speeds to dribbler distance shooter free kick specialist acrobat and he's also got the long shot taker trait all of those things combined are what make this guy a hero on ultimate team now um other things that to include that make him uh, so usable on ultimate team is his nation and his league you can just build a uh, any old hybrid around this guy but because you can use someone like gundawan around him he gets that perfect link um there's not you know there's 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 players like chikawi who was the first hero of this series who you're going to have to rely on like one player to get him uh, into chemistry. And then you have to build a hybrid around him. If you want to, you can just build a Bundesliga squad around this guy if you want. Uh, but really, look at the dribbling. Oh my god. This guy has got so much pace. The ball is glued to his feet. And he's got 86 shooting. So once you get in front of goal, you ain't missing. You're just not missing. Uh, because he is unbelievable. I preferred him um, at left forward out of any of those roles. Just because he obviously does get that little bit more involved. Kind of playing as a striker or at least a forward. Lovely chop inside there. Don't even try to catch him for pace. And he's got the finish to boot. He really is just an absolute monster uh, on this game. He always is good on Ultimate Team. Like Even like two or three FIFAs ago, he was a striker or a centre forward. Now that would be amazing to see on Ultimate Team. But the closest you can get to that is, of course, playing him and that left forward role. Or even maybe putting him down on chemistry and playing him at striker. He would be great, trust me. Uh, but as you can see, we're absolutely dominating these teams right here. And smashing the ball into the back of the net with Marco Royce. Uh, I can't say any bad things about this guy because even like his work rates and stuff are really good. And as you can see, he's holding off the defenders and stuff, which means his strength isn't too bad in game either. That was a beautiful, beautiful goal uh, from the man Marco Royce. A nice little scoop turn, a roulette and a banger off the bar. You guys know how much I love to see that ball go in off the bar. It just sort of adds a little bit more intensity to the strike, and it's a really, really nice goal. Uh, he will cost you over 100,000 coins at the moment. You pay a premium for an amazing player, though. Don't get me wrong. If you can afford to get him, maybe build a cheap team around him. He will absolutely shine for you guys. Uh, there's not much more to be said. Marco Royce, in my books, 
is an absolute hero here on FIFA 15. As I said, guys, let me know who you want to see as the next hero. Uh, drop a like if you would do so. 2,000 likes would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.